future postcard landscapes. Italy's Tuscany region draws more than 10 million tourists a year. Pistoia, 37 kilometers west of Florence, boasts many historic buildings. Pistoia's landmark is the 67-meter-high bell tower. The Cathedral Square frequently stages concerts and other events. Pistoia's 90,000 residents cultivate their traditions with colorful flags and processions. San Seno Cathedral, one of Tuscany's oldest churches, is home to the silver altar of St. Jacob. This work of expert gold and silversmithing with nearly 630 figures was created by a number of famous artists, including Giulio Pisano. These 20 centimeter tall figures from 1400 are attributed to the sculptor Filippo Brunelleschi. Back then, the region's artists traveled from place to place working on many different projects. And if you look around in Pistoia, Lucca, Florence, Pienza, and Pitigliano, you'll find many similarities because the same artists were working everywhere. Tuscany is also famous for its red wine, Chianti. The northernmost Chianti region, Montalbano, extends below Pistoia. It's some 16,000 hectares in size. The Betti Vineyard offers frequent wine tastings. Chianti is a gentle wine with silky tannins. Montecatini Terme, Tuscany's largest spa town, lies halfway between Florence and Pisa. The four hot springs of the Tetuccio Spa have been in use since ancient times. Each spring has a different combination of salt and sulfur compounds. Spa guests are advised to drink three glasses of the spring water a day. It's supposed to help detox the body and stimulate the liver. The cure is even more effective if you retreat to the park for some dolce far niente, sweet idleness. The cure has to be carried out with a great deal of rest while leisurely enjoying food and drink. As you can see, the cure in these beautiful surroundings is about more than water. It's effective also because of the green vegetation, the park, the architecture, and the relaxed atmosphere. Tuscany offers other forms of relaxation too. The area around Montecatini Terme is called La Terra di Vinci. Renaissance painter Leonardo da Vinci was born here. It gave him his name. Today, it's popular with bicycle racers. A local bicycle club offers tours and bike maps. Today, people use GPS to find their way around. We don't. We just follow the road to wherever it takes us. No GPS. For me, it's a relaxing sport. When you're nervous, restless, worn down by life, just riding out into the countryside makes you feel free of it all. Back in Pistoia, local vegetables and a variety of regional specialties are waiting at the open air market, which is held every Wednesday and Saturday. Sala del Gusto, a delicatessen, has regional ham and cantuccini, a delightful almond cookie typical of Tuscany. We have a different rhythm here. People meet, chat, and take a break from their errands. It's a different way of life, more moderate, much slower, and much better. Tuscany, the ideal destination for anyone looking for a restful getaway.